Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a uh, disassembly for you of this little guy right here. This is the Spydeco Knives Patadese, or uh, I don't know how to say it in actual Italian. But uh, nonetheless, um, this is a uh, new knife from Spydeco, and uh, very curious to see how it goes. Um, let's go ahead and take it apart. Looks like, yeah, T10, I'm sorry, T8 here on this screw, and looks like another T8 in the back. That lanyard hole is looking at me funny. I'm wondering whether he's going to be a pain in my neck. I'm personifying lanyard holes just remarkably, but I, the, the, the way that that could be a pain is if this is flared out. Um, that's not exactly what you're going to want there. A flared base can be great for many things, but in this case, actually, I really don't want that because uh, that'll just make my life more difficult. Okay, let's go on ahead and... Come on, unscrew... Get out of there, you little bugger. Come on. So close. There we go. Okay. And then looks like D6 in the middle. And hopefully that's the uh, that's the ball game when it comes to the disassembly approach. Good Lord, these screws did not want to come out of there. Uh, come off it. Don't fight me. I am the human. I will win this. Not necessarily that humans win everything in the long run, but we sure seem to be. Got a pretty good record at the moment. Um, okay, let's go on ahead and... Um, he says his humanity is currently getting its assets kicked by a chunk of proteins. Anyways, I digress. Um, I'm going to see if I can't pop this guy apart using this little uh, spudger tool from iFixit. Uh, by the way, if you ever curious about this or any of the other tools I use during this assembly, go ahead and check out nickshabazz.com slash tools, and I will uh, give you the whole whole spiel, show you all of them. Yeah, feeling like this lanyard tube is a little flared, because this thing ain't wanting to separate in the way that I want it to. Who made this? Maniago. Ah, interesting. All right. I mean, patadese being an Italian word, it kind of would make sense if this were Maniago made knife, but the grind is surprisingly thin then. Nice. Generally speaking, for whatever reason, of course, this, you know, isn't a universal, but very often I've noticed Italian manufacturers tend to have very thick edges, thick grinds. Hopefully they're learning. I mean, clearly they are. Or Spydeco's just holding them to the fire, either one, but... Why don't you want to come apart? It's probably the damn lanyard hole. Um, let's lift that up. This is being a bit of a pain in the neck. And unfortunately, I've got this live, live blade hanging out in here, which I don't love either. I'll try this. Come on. How am I going to get up in there? Do I have those here? Uh, what do I have that will help me with this? There's not enough room to get in there with a pair of snap ring pliers. Maybe I just need to... And unfortunately, the inside of this is super tight. Uh... Like, that's the downside of thin blade stock, which is one of very few downsides, by the way. But can I push the pivot through? Is that an option to me? Hmm. Maybe? Is it free spinning? It is free spin. Oh, no, it's tooled on both sides. Okay. Actually, that doesn't help me at all, because that means I can't get this pivot out without disassembling the whole thing. Am I about to be thwarted? I, f I think I am. Okay. So if I put this together, the other thing I want to try then is to take it apart from the back side first. I've pinched the front side together... Okay, could it be the case? 
I am going to try loosening this back screw as well. Um, because maybe the back screw here is actually going into the liner on the other side at some level. Be a little weird, but not beyond the pale. It doesn't want to come out either. Good Lord. This thing is just not wanting to come apart. Huh. Yeah, that clip is in there. I... Hey, 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 hey! We got it, we got it, we're in! All right, hallelujah. I was 30 seconds away from calling this one. But I think we are in... I don't know what changed, but... Now let's spread the whole thing apart here. It's the damn flared lanyard hole. Whoo, oily. Yowza. Have I been in here already? Okay. What on earth is going on here? Maybe it's this part that's flared. Either way, this thing must have been put together with a damn arbor press. Um, phosphor bronze at least. Yeah, okay. There we go. Good Lord. Yeah, so super... Th Whew! Okay, so we are good to go now, at the very least. That was touch and go. Um, let's go on ahead and clean this guy off. Um, we have here M390. Uh, it's a steel... We have ourselves a good old-fashioned liner lock, not the compression lock for whatever reason. The screw is completely out, and yet one side of the pocket clip ain't going nowhere. Well, that's entertaining. This is a knife that is, um, hmm, curiously constructed. <laughs> Things aren't exactly going together as I think they, um, Oh, and then this is trying to go into this thing, and this thing is super-duper wedged on there. They, this was put together. It, okay, I don't know this. I uh, This has the feeling of a knife that was put together with a lot of brute force, like at the factory. This feels like something that was really like they, they crunched this together. The washers aren't actually round. It's really weird. Huh. Is that a burr on the washers? It feels like a little bit of a burr on the inside of the washer there. All right, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go on ahead and use the uh, Spyderco 2000 grit stone here. I'm just going to go on ahead and put this back and forth on this a little bit. Oh, yeah, see, look. Polished up one very specific portion of this little guy. Not super duper impressed with the construction going on here. On this side, it's it's doing a little bit better, but getting the. I can't rule out necessarily that it's super thin too. I can't you know rule anything out, but boy, the current state of these washers is not amazing, and I certainly couldn't have done anything during this assembly to make them not round. Okay, yikes. Let's go on ahead and continue the process here. I'm going to try and get this other washer up, and we see here actually that once again the washer isn't round, and. Looks like maybe it's been polished a little already, but I'm going to go on ahead and keep doing so. Look at the lack of flatness on that little bad boy. Okay. Are we any better now? Yeah, slightly. All right. Well, there, there's that. I'm not going to get the pivot out of there, so I'm just going to go on ahead and clean things up. 
Steal the tent ball. That's a little old school. All right. Um, okay, let's go on ahead and drop this side down. And I'm going to use some knife pivot lube here um, to lubricate this whole affair. I'm going to go ahead and drop this side down. Put that there. Beautiful. Uh, this little guy lives right here. Uh, okay. I'm going to go on ahead and where is the detent ball hole? It doesn't have a detent ball hole. It just has the detent falls off on one end and then falls off on the other. That's interesting. Well, at the very least, I've lubricated the detent ball path a little bit. Actually, there we go. And I'm throwing screwdrivers at myself. Yeah, see, check this out. When it's closed, the detent ball just comes up here. This is super weird. This is so unusual for Spyderco. Um, you know, the design in a lot of ways doesn't, but the construction... Well, and then again, I don't look at many Italian Spydercos. So, hmm. Okay. Now, this is going to be fun. Um, or maybe. Hopefully, it'll be great. Easy peasy, lemon freaking squeezy, but um, I'm a little afraid. Uh, let's go on ahead. I'm going to just keep that in position. My goal here is going to be to press this liner down uniformly across all the parts. Um, and I know... Weird. It's coming back apart pretty easily, or uh, going back together pretty easily. It's nice, at least. Okay. So now I'm going to just rotate, rotate, rotate this guy into place. Get that nice and tight. Not that the clip was going anywhere, even with that loose. This clip feels like a different material than usual. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, now we go ahead and drop the scale onto place. Is this scale the thing that was tight on here? Either way, um, let's go ahead and put the pivot in position. Let me use a little bit of thread locker on this guy. Can't. There we go. And get that vaguely in place. Uh, now let's go ahead and put in this middle screw. Is everything at an angle for some reason? Things are rolling more than I expect. <laughs> Maybe my house is leaning over. Is the leaning tower a Pisa knife? All right. Uh, anything else here? I think we're all set. I've no extra parts, at least. That's good. Okay, now let's see how the action is. Oh, that's way over-tightened. All right, let's not do that. Um, loosen that up a little bit. Centering is uh, way off, but that's because the pivot is over-tight. So there's no shock there. Question is, which side am I twisting? Let's go on ahead and loosen that way. Now we are centered. Okay, let's see if there's play. There is a little bit of blade play. Okay. Let's go on ahead and tighten this back up. And loosen this back up. Hopefully that'll... No, that's still over tight. Let's loosen here. You see here is... There we go. I bet there's going to be play, though, now. No. Okay, good. So actually, it's the case that I just need to have both sides of the pivot dialed in independently. Um, let's go on ahead and tighten down this part. Good. And tighten this down. Tighten. All right. We are all set here. Um, we now have a knife that is... Ah, oh, no, now there's play. Never mind, let's tighten a little bit more back here. No, we're good. It's not rotating, is it? No. All right, there we go. 
And one more time. Do we have play? No. Nope. Okay, we're good to go. All right, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you. A little bit of an odyssey unexpectedly, but um, we got through it, no problem. And uh, have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.